In this episode, two-year-old Lane Graves is enjoying a holiday with his family in Disney World, Florida. All buildings and castles on the shores of Seven Seas Lagoon, a huge alligator launches itself at Lane, grabbing him by the head and dragging him into the murky depths. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the terrifying alligator attack at Disney World. In this episode, we witness a tragic incident where a two-year-old boy named Lane Graves was spending his vacation with his family at Disney World Florida, playing in buildings and castles on the shore of Seven Seas Lagoon. Suddenly, a massive alligator viciously attacked him, catching him by the head and pulling him under the water. This horrifying incident is a reminder of the dangers that can lurk in unexpected places. Please show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Matt and Melissa Graves, a couple from Elkhorn, Nebraska, had been eagerly anticipating their family's dream vacation for months. Finally, the day arrived and they set off for the magical wonderland of Disney World Orlando in June 2016. Spread across a sprawling 25,000 acres of land, Disney World is a world-renowned vacation destination that draws in nearly 60 million visitors every year. With its enchanting theme parks, including studios and Animal Kingdom, it caters to the young and the young at heart alike, offering a plethora of attractions. The Graves family had a blast experiencing some of the most exhilarating rides in the world. But after all the excitement, they yearned for a moment of tranquility. They found their respite at the Seven Seas Lagoon, an idyllic man-made lake that offered boating and fishing experiences. The water was as still as a mirror, reflecting the warm sunshine that bathed the surroundings in a golden glow. The lake was surrounded by lush green grass, woodland, and pristine sandy beaches, with people leisurely strolling along the shores, running on the beaches, and casting their lines from a couple of boats. It was the third day of their incredible holiday, and the Graves family was staying at the luxurious Grand Floridian Hotel, which overlooked the serene lagoon. As they soaked up the serene ambience, little did they know that their lives were about to take a heart-wrenching turn. Matt and Melissa took their young children to an outdoor movie experience at the lake on their holiday. The parents sat watching the movie while their children played on the beach nearby, digging in the sand and splashing in the water. The family enjoyed making and castles and digging a trench around them. As they were about to leave, their two-year-old son Lane insisted on staying longer to play in the water. Suddenly, an alligator attacked and dragged Lane under the water, just feet away from his family. In a frantic attempt to save their son, Matt leaped onto the alligator, trying to pry open its jaws, but was thrown off. Another alligator joined the attack, causing minor injuries to Matt. The family was horrified as they watched their son being dragged underwater by the seven-foot beast. Emergency services arrived, but Lane's body was found the following afternoon, and he was pronounced dead. Wildlife officers captured and euthanized six alligators from the lake, revealing their empty stomachs indicated they were hungry. The tragic incident sparked widespread media coverage and ignited a debate about the safety of recreational areas in Florida that are home to alligators. The authorities came under criticism for not doing enough to protect the public from the danger posed by these apex predators. In response to the tragedy, Disney World announced a series of measures to improve safety around the resort's waterways. The company installed additional fencing, warning signs, and barriers around the lagoon to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. Disney also pledged to make a $10 million donation to support wildlife conservation efforts in Florida. The incident also served as a wake-up call for many Floridians, who became more aware of the risks posed by alligators and other predators that inhabit the state's waterways. People started taking precautions to protect themselves and their families, such as avoiding swimming in lakes and rivers where alligators are known to live and keeping a safe distance from any wildlife they encounter. Despite the tragedy, Florida remains a popular destination for tourists from around the world. The state's beaches, theme parks, and natural wonders continue to attract millions of visitors each year.